Yes, I have a smile on my face, folks. How are you? It's Matthew Street. Welcome to my channel. So happy you're here. And folks, from the United States to the rest of the world and the rest of my country, today is the day. November 5th, ABBA Day, Voyage Day. It is here, folks. Today is the day. Welcome, welcome. And I am here to give my overall thoughts first on this album. I will then go track by track and give some thoughts on each track. And then I will give my final rating at the end. So stick around, folks. This should be a fun ride and a very happy and pleasurable ride at that. So how did I get this album? Why am I not showing it? I have my singles up there behind me with some other ABBA stuff. I have not received my hard copies yet, folks. Now, according to the uh, tracking, I should get my CD, I'm hoping, by the end of today. I, I pre-ordered that. I also pre-ordered the Target exclusive vinyl. I have not received that yet. And I was going to wait. I said, well, I'll wait till you at least get the CD, and then you can do your review for the folks out there. But then I said, no, 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 no. The thing is out. It's Friday morning. I want to get a review out there for you folks. I want you to hear my thoughts on it right away when they're still fresh, when I've listened to it several times now, and I have a really good feel on how I, I my emotions are with this album. So, here we go, and I, I'm ecstatic, folks. Let me just say that, all right? I don't want to let the, the horse out of the barn yet, but I'm ecstatic over this album. Now, let me start with a little preface. If you're out there thinking, oh, I, I hope there's another Waterloo on here. Oh, I hope they have another Take a Chance on Me on here. I want to hear uh, Fernando. I want to hear, oh, they have to have another Dancing Queen on here. Folks, don't go into this album with that attitude that's silly. It, it's silly to come into this album and think it's going to be a rehash or you're going to get the same old, same old that we've gotten before, which is classic, which is beautiful, which is <laughs> top-notch ABBA, but that's not what this album is, and you should not be expecting that. What you should be expecting is 40 years since The Visitor, you have people who are now in their 70s, and this album reflects the maturity the development of how this band, this act, would be after so many decades and so many years of wisdom and experience behind them. Don't forget, when they first started out, you had a bunch of kids recording those first few albums in their 20s. By the time ABBA ended in, in, in 1981, 82 or so, now they were all in their 30s, they were maturing, and I think that was reflected on Super Trooper and on The Visitors. But now we have 40 more years have gone by. Now we have four individuals in their 70s, as I said, and the album reflects that. But it still retains everything that makes ABBA magical. It is all still there. Just I'm just trying to give you a little heads up before you go into this. Don't go into this looking for 10 Dancing Queens or 10 Mamma Mias or, you know, that, that's not what you should be looking for here. Are all the elements of classic ABBA here? Yes, they are. They are here. But this is an album which I think is a perfect in the is perfect in the succession of where ABBA has been and where they have come. Okay, so 40 years since The Visitors in 1981, now we have The Voyage in 2021, and to me it feels just right. It feels perfect for what we've been presented. This is what I expected. Here are my overall thoughts. Agnetha, I believe, from what I'm listening, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe Agnetha is kind of like the lead, although there's, you know, always background vocals, but Agnetha has the lead on like four of the tracks, Frida appears to have lead on four of the tracks, and then two of the tracks appear to be like duets, or on one in particular you can hear the guys singing with them, behind them, and so I, I would consider that like a duet on, on two of the tracks, duets. So there's your ten tracks there. Now, for me, all right, these are just some notes I wrote, and I want to get every thought out to you as I was listening to this. To me, Voyage highlights and it touches upon every nuance that made classic ABBA so wonderful is here. You have some great rock and roll. You have some melodic pop. Really, you know, pop-type songs are here, just like classic ABBA. You have those classic triumphant ballads are here. It's just classic ABBA sounds, classic ABBA songs are here. The foundation of that, uh, of ABBA, is within this album, Voyage. It is here. 
you will see it. You will hear it if you listen. Now, Benny and Bjorn have written top-notch songs here. Their songwriting ability with the melodies and the lyrics, it's here. They're wonderful. Now, Agnetha and Frida's vocals, to me, for the ages they are now, and this is no put-down of them, they sound spot-on to me. I don't hear any lack of like, oh, that sounds like an older woman singing. No. Like with some of today's male pop stars that we all know and love, whose vocal vocals have definitely dipped in the, in the quality category, I don't hear it here with Agnetha and Frida. I think their vocals are right there, and they sound beautiful together, especially when they're harmonizing together. Perfect. The instrumentation is spot on. Sounds great. Some classic ABBA with some newer sounds as well. The production, well, we've come to expect nothing less than excellent production from an ABBA album, and that is here. Classic ABBA production. And as I said, they're not trying to reinvent the wheel here, and they're not trying to go off into left field and do something totally wacky and different. You have, it retains the classicness of ABBA, but it is brought into today and sounds very modern and fresh. It sounds very vital. Um, they're giving us the ABBA we love and remember, but they're bringing it into today. You've got that, like I said, that fresh sound. It's relevant. It's an excellent album overall. A wonderful addition to their catalog, in my opinion. I think it's a fantastic album, and I love it. So those are some of my general thoughts. <laughs> Let me get into some of the songs real quick here. Uh, the opening track is, uh, I'll call it like side one, side two, five songs, side one, five songs, side two. Obviously, side one starts with I Still Have Faith in You. Great start. Autobiographical song regarding their journey. The lyrics are very storytelling. Where they've been, where they've come to this point in their lives. They're older. They're more mature. It's an epic ballad. Fabulous orchestration. The vocals are fantastic, and I still have faith in you. It's a classic ABBA ballad song, and it was the first single. It's classic. Love it. When You Dance With Me is track number two. It has a Celtic-sounding pop song. I, I would call it like a Celtic sound, but as a pop song. A Celtic pop song. Does that make sense? Very upbeat. The vocals, again, are spot on. Uh... More mature vocals on this track, but so nice, so sweet sounding. I love the melody on When You Dance With Me. Thumbs up, great track. Little Things is the Christmas song we've heard about, but I gotta tell you, it's so melodic. It's a beautiful Christmas ballad, almost like a lullaby type song. And to me, it should be a new holiday standard. It's that great. I love Little Things. Now, Don't Shut Me Down, we all know that one also, along with I Still Have Faith In You, it was a single. Classic single, in my opinion, Don't Shut Me Down. We all know this one. We love it. It's classic ABBA brought into the modern times. Perfect pop song, perfect dance song. The vocals are spot on. It's wonderful. And to close out side one, we have the third single, Just a Notion. Another great pop tune. It has that 50s, early 60s vibe brought, brought to the modern era. It's just happy. It's bouncy. It's melodic. It's, it's, it has its foundation in 1978, but it was finally completed for Voyage, and it sounds modern and wonderful. I love the piano flourishes throughout the song. It's a great way to end side one. Just a notion. Perfect. On to side two. I Can Be That Woman. Now, you had that nice, faster, upbeat ending on side one. The last two songs, you had Don't Shut Me Down, very dancey, and then you had the bouncy, fun pop song, Just a Notion. So now you flip the album over, you go to track number six, and you're getting I Can Be That Woman, which is um, a pure ABBA ballad. Now we slow things down to start side two. Very soft, very tender and melancholy. It's for You can hear it in the lyrics. It's mature people reflecting on the past, reflecting on the present, what has happened in the past, brought up to how we feel right now. Uh, this is the famous song which people have mentioned has the line, screw you in it. <laughs> Listen to it and see where that line, screw you, shows up, but it's done very well. Uh, 
so meaningful, just such a meaningful, beautiful song about a, a failed relationship and hope for the future where we are today kind of thing. I think you'll love it. The next song is Keep an Eye on Dan. It starts out a little slower, but then it builds into a faster pop song, very modern sounding, less piano, more, more electronic, more synthesizers to it, and you can hear the great orchestral work in the background. The vocals sound so tight, so great on this track, Keep an Eye on Dan, just great vocals. I like the ending piano. Listen to the piano ending at the end. To me, it harkens back to a classic ABBA song called S.O.S. Tell me if you feel the same way. Great pop song. Keep an eye on Dan. Great pop song. The next track is Bumblebee. And the instrumentation in the beginning of it and at the end, there's some instrumentation right at the beginning and right at the end of it that reminds me of the song Fernando. Again, tell me if you feel the same way. It's a slower song, more of a ballad, but it's very elegant. It's an elegant sounding song. It has a kind of a march type beat to it, like you're in a you know, march military type beat slightly to it. And again, the vocals are spot on. I can't say enough about these vocals throughout the album. A very tender and warm song, Bumblebee is. I enjoyed it. Now, no doubt about no uh, no doubt about it. <laughs> did I write that down wrong? No doubt, no doubt about um, is a fast-paced ABBA rocker type song all the way. This is where it picks right up, gets snappy. The vocals are fantastic. It's a good driving song. I could picture putting on this song and just you know driving in the car, push the pedal down, open up the sunroof, and fly along the highway to this song. It's just a great, great, typical, classic ABBA rocker song, no doubt about it. And um, the last song is Ode to Freedom and what a way to end this album. The orchestral beginning is beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's like an anthem for today, Ode to Freedom, an anthem. That's what I thought of it right away. And the orchestral work continues throughout the song. You're gonna like the orchestral uh, passages and works throughout this song. They're very well done. I think it's a fabulous way to end the album. It sounds to me like all four of them are singing together on this track, which I think is very fitting uh, to end this wonderful album on this note, on this wonderful, uh, beautiful note to have them all singing together on Ode to Freedom. So that's the way the album ends. Another great song. Now, my ranking. How do I feel about this album after listening to it three times or so? And I'm going to go back to listen to it some more. I would say side one is an A+. Plus. Okay, those first five songs just hit you one after the other. I still have faith in you. When you dance with me, little things, don't shut me down, and just a notion. You've got the three singles, which we all know and love, on the first side, along with two other great classic songs. So that first side is just... It's just top notch. It's A plus. Now I still love side two, but side two is just a little more reflective, a little slower. There's only out of the five songs is maybe two songs, no doubt about it. And keep an eye on Dan. That are the faster paced ones. The other ones, I can be that woman, Bumblebee, Ode to Freedom, a little more slower, reflective. Not that that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying, side one just seems to a little be a little more upbeat to me and faster paced. With, with a couple of ballads, it's beautiful. Whereas side two is more on the slower side with two faster paced songs. So that's not a knock, it's just my preference. Side one, I give an A plus. Side two, I give an A minus. So what does that average out to folks? A, a straight A for Voyage from ABBA. I give the album a straight A rating. It's an excellent album, a fine addition to their catalog as their ninth studio album. And I encourage all of you to check it out, see what you think. Give me your thoughts here. I would really love to hear from you. Thank you again so much for being part of this review, folks. I wanted to get it out to you as soon as possible, even though, though I don't have the actual album. I really appreciate you being part of my channel and being part of this journey with ABBA. And uh, maybe I think I will do another video or so when I get my stuff in. I will do a reveal video and show you everything that I ordered as part of this great release. God bless you all. Have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love.
Bye-bye.